Alright, uh, we're gonna do the next mission is uh, drive to location. It's a rifle, not a gun. Or be nearby. Long way to go. Uh, I with you there. All right, we're nearby. It's morning time. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I don't want to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cove. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Not here. Use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, cool. I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got him. Nice shot. You help unlock track quarry. The ability to track a wounded deer. Look for the blood trail. You can tap R3 to use a spell vision and all that. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. You just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. All right. He'll be slowing down by now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay. You know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer, and I had been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. So it's like a hunting mission, you know, just want to hunt some animal to eat, that's good, that's good. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Let me get the gate. 
Good choice, man. Good choice. Oh, need anything else? I'll wrap that up for you. Just customize my customize my bike and it looks so cool. Yeah. Not yet fully customized, but hopefully soon. Just need to buy the thing that I need. Then. Uh, where to go next is going to here. I remember making contact track down the Nero Agent O'Brien. How's it going, booze man? Fine, yeah. They dig, we're gonna go on supplies. We'll do some more meat if you get a chance. Shit, okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Uh, remember what you're doing? Yeah, I had Cope give you a few pointers. Believe it or not. Cope? Shit, don't blame me. Thanks, dude. I saw something in our approach. Gonna 
check it out. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant, don't become carrying on yourself. Where you poor son of a bitch and these two weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself, and whether that did something. Uh, 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 go on, stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero, protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... some the, the, Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? Well, what? I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. Next time, uh, Nero camp. Protocol 2 7 states. Burned. The Every I, room was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn, limb, Nero, for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, two listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the uh, camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a uh, camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're gonna fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. Okay, O'Brien. O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna track you down, and I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife, but you're not the only one who lost someone that night. 
Okay, good point. But he did his job though. There's a lot of zombies there though. Woo! I don't have time, but I need to save bullets. I'm out there, O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better be. You hear me, O'Brien? Oh, You're on this channel? God damn it. You better get back to me, or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on! Brian! Get back to me. Granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. Yeah, that's real sporting. I guess none of that shit matters now. Hey, booze man, I brought in some meat. I should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. That looks so good, I'm, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. Getting on late. 41%. He's my brother. Mm -hmm. 
next is way over here. You're safe now. Yep. See you there. Alright, I'm here now. So next two locations need to find Lisa. Because on the on the pictures says Lisa's so it's Lisa's missions. You I like the rings though. You know the rings that he he gave uh, his wife Sarah. How you doing, kid? You won't let me leave. Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. I don't know what's next mission is though. Probably here. Uh, I remember. Yeah. What do you got there? It was on me. You here for your bike? No. Hey, just taking a look. I, I got you here. covered. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Where's my bike? Where's my bike? Okay, talk to you later. Move in. Let me get the gate for you. Okay. This is going to be my last mission before I go to the scenery. Hey, how's it going? Yo. I grabbed you a couple of items if you want to swim by. Okay, thank you. Oh, Boozo, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I do need some. I think it out. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. <laughs> Burn it down. Burn it down. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bastard. Well, bet you had that coming. A little bit. We all had it. to do and, and maybe he's right I don't know he got hurt pretty bad the other day we ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm and it looks pretty bad I broke into one of those uh, uh, what the hell do you call them the 
mobile medical units. I mean, I got them sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? That's too but Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, and son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone too. As soon as I get it back together, I, <laughs> my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up. We're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that uh, I might not see you again. You know? Twenty six percent. I remember. Alright, that's it guys, uh, that's it for today, so hope you guys uh, have fun, uh, enjoy what you see, and don't forget, uh, <clears throat> don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you on the next video.